Ice Cube, Tupac, Biggie, Eminem, Jay-Z, Nas. The 2010s decade has given us Kendrick, Cole, and Drake. Over the last couple of months, all three of these men have in one way or the other hinted their retirement. Cole with a fall-off, Kendrick on Mirror saying I choose me, and Drake talking about a graceful exit. And while the buzz has sort of faded, I've been thinking, what the rappers will step up or rise to the status of hip-hop's holy trinity? Now before I go on, it's worth mentioning a few things. Kendrick did not release Tupac, neither did Cole, and Drake is certainly no biggie. Noting that their legacies have been cemented, and with the rise of Spotify, the dynamic of the next generation of music listeners and rappers that are considered mainstream has been redefined. Now for any artist to be considered as one of the big three, you should still have to check a few boxes like depth to their music, maintain a certain level of commercial success, and be relatively early in your career, or at least in my opinion that is entirely subjective. Alright, right off the bat, I might as well mention the names everybody has in mind. Jid, Baby Kim, and Jack Harlow. Seeing how they've all gotten co-signs from the GOATs, and Jid and Baby Kim are signed to both Cole and Kendrick's respective record label, Jid to Dreamville and Baby Kim to PG Lang. Whilst Jack Harlow on the other hand is doing pretty good and is probably considered to be the most mainstream of the three rappers I just mentioned, with chart toppers like Churchill Down and Neil Turk, although Come Up The Kids Miss You was nothing to write home about, pun intended. His recent album, Jackman, was a bliss to my ears and i say my favorite album this year baby kim the first of the three to win a grammy although although they've all been nominated is an artist with an interesting sound and i know there have been rumors of kendrick writing a couple of verses for him but let's be honest if i was a rapper and kendrick offered to write me a verse i'd be bugging if i said no i mean it's kendrick lamar for god's sake while jid made a classic with the forever story in my books although he's probably the oldest or in the trio or in this video. His career is still on the rise and is constantly improving and I can't wait to see what he does next. Next up, Dave. I was put on his music by one of my closest friends and I immediately became a fan. Dave is known for his hard hitting songs and albums as he consistently delivers quality from psycho drama to We're All Alone In This Together with songs like Leslie and How I Met My Ex with meaningful messages and storytelling. And he has also shown us that he can drop bangers like Splinter with Central C and Location with Burner Boy. A very well-rounded artist in my opinion. Denzel Curry. Denzel has been going at it for quite a while now. And until I met my eyes here future, I had my doubts, but not anymore. Plus, with his cult-like followers on his side, the sky is the limit for that guy. And Little Sims. One of my biggest flex for the last year is that I found out about Little Sims while she was relatively underground. Sometimes I might be, sometimes I might be introvert was and still is such an amazing album it pains me that she doesn't get the mainstream attention she deserves plus her recent album no thank you is super underrated you can hear the kendrick and kanye influences in her style and if there's any rapper i'd like to see as part of the top three it will little seems now before i go on obviously rappers like travis scott 21 savage and Lil baby even though his last album didn't slap although it was his most successful they'll clearly be on the run for the next generation See now they are streaming giants and they've also managed to produce quality. 20 Savage, 21 Savage is one of my favorite artists and Travis Scott has been on the run for quite a while now. His recent album Utopia, well, I really don't have to explain why Utopia is Utopia and why Travis Scott is Travis Scott. Alright, back to the list. Red Veil. I slept on Learn to Swim for a long, long, long time to be honest and immediately I gave it a listen, I felt like punishing myself for sleeping on the album because it's such an amazing album. I'm currently, I'm currently listening to Playing with Fire, his recent EP. And yes, I wouldn't be surprised when he finally gets the attention, the mainstream attention he deserves because, well. <laughs> Next up, Cordae. Someone who shares similar ideologies with J. Cole. Since his 1985 reply to J. Cole, I've had my eyes on him and he has delivered every single time very well so i at least cannot wait to see what he does with his next album i mean he's got some co-signs from the likes of eminem to so his recent release with jill sword lastly i spice <laughs> nah i'm just kidding i mean i want to see what she does later in her career but it's just too early to decide and i cannot say she's one of the greats she just doesn't have enough material to be considered in this list and it's kind of the reason central c isn't on this list too it's just too early in their careers to decide all right other rappers will see emerge and change the landscape of this list and hip-hop but i feel like this is a good place to start when we're talking about the next giants of hip-hop oh and also this might be a good time to tell you to subscribe if you haven't already all right let me know what you think i've messed up in this list and what let me know artists you think should have been considered that aren't i'll be in the comment section thank you for watching peace